Creating a sepia tone image is fairly simple and straightforward, but there are multiple steps, and some of them you may have to go back and do over to get just the effect you're looking for. The first step is to desaturate the colors. So colors, desaturate, we're going to choose luminosity and click OK. The next step is to increase the brightness. Brightness contrast, this one I'm going to increase to about 40. Again, depending upon the particular image, you may have to come back to this step and do it again. At this point, I'm going to duplicate the layer. Come up here, right click, choose duplicate. And now I'm going to come over to the foreground color and set up colors towards a brown tone roughly 107 for red. For the green, I'm going to go with 66. Blue, 12. That gives a bit of a brown tone. Choose OK. And next I'm going to add a new layer. Foreground color, which is the color we just chose. Click OK. And now it's all black. Up here on the Layers dock, I'm going to click on this, choose Overlay, and then from the Layers menu, I'm going to come over here and Merge Down. Next, I'm going to add a Layers Mask. You want to choose Grayscale Copy of Layer, Invert Mask, and then click OK Add. And if you're happy with these results, you can leave it here. Otherwise, you might want to come back up here to your Layers dock, right-click, duplicate the layer, and then from here, adjust the opacity to get just the tone that you want. You can see that you can get varying shades of brown, varying shades of sepia by adjusting the opacity of this layer. And that's basically all there is to it.